peace family I'm gonna try to make this video quick because I got somewhere to go let me just share it to a few groups Try to get this video done quickly so I could go on with my night. But you know, when I be having ideas, it's important for me to get them out. So once again, peace family, how y'all living? I'm about to do this video real quick. So this video is gonna be speaking on uh, the celebration of God in essence. And um, when people say um, they're God, black woman is God, you know, all these different terms. I'm about to like speak on it super fast in a nutshell and then go on with my day. So this idea came to me very similar to, uh, well, this idea came to me while I was getting dressed. And getting dressed is a pretty interesting thing. It's like celebrating the body. It's like celebrating God. Because just like uh, with God, you dress God up. You know, God got robes, God got beards, God got clouds and, and arcs and, you know, y'all play dress up. So it's okay. Dress up is cool. Keeps us entertained. So, so very similar to how we dress God up. I need you guys to really, hold on, the, the, the glasses is giving me some crazy glare. So I need you guys to really understand uh, what this is. <clears throat> When a being says that they are a god, well, in order to be a god, you have to be a creator. Thus, have a product that is called creation. So, this is a very deep idea, but I'm going to help y'all understand. When they say, uh... When someone says, I am God, I want y'all to understand you're saying, I am God body. Talking about bodies here. What the fuck is a God? What is a boss if it's not attached to a body? The body's important. So when you say literally like a body, like this egg that you're housed in right now, that the spirit, the spirit of sperm is housed in right now, it's a body. So listen, when you say I am God, you're saying that I am God body or I have God's body. Yes, you, you do. You do have God's body. Which woman's body do you have? But let's stay focused. You know, there are different races on this planet. <clears throat> so when they say now, this is a, a trending topic. Black woman is God. Well, let's finish. Black woman is God body. What does that mean? That means that the bodies on this planet are going to be predominantly from a black woman. If you're saying black woman is God, then you're saying most of the creation on this planet has to come from a black woman or... Most of the creation currently is coming from a melanated species. So this is what I'm helping you guys understand. This is what KKK members are scared of. This is what, uh, um, I guess, white supremacy is really advocating. And that's their genome. You know, the surviving of their species. But regardless of what's happening within their community compared to the divine system that's around us, they are short-lived. They are not... They are not pure Aryan or whatever word you want to use to describe that. We are very infused now. We are very mixed. And the problem with domination is if you were to add a, 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 a black being and a white being and come together, it's going to be not white anymore. Mixed, a little melanated, more of the black woman's body, more God body than another body. 
So I really want you guys to really understand this idea. When people walk around right now in 2018 and say the black woman is God, put in your head body and then just look. A lot of Mexican species are on this planet nowadays. They are of the black body. A lot of Spanish, a lot of just melanated people from all walks of life are surfacing and integrating and mixing. And we are truly entering what you would call the melanated body or being around tons of melanated bodies. And that's why they can say the black woman is God because this is a truthful statement that a majority of the people on this planet are melanated. So therefore, the dominated species on this planet would be melanated. Now, I'm not talking black. I'm saying melanated. If you have any hue in your body, red, yellow, these are hues. These are colors. Melanated. So you are acknowledging <laughs> that you <laughs> are melanated, that you have color. That's it. I'm just, I'm going to end it. I just really want you guys to really understand this idea. When someone says that they are God, it takes a body to produce creation. It takes a body to affect reality, to do things. No body, motherfucker, I'm not sipping this water. So body, I am creating the system of nourishing myself by drinking this water, by using my body to affect the creation of myself. So, remember, I'm, I'm, I'm adding water in me, thus adding to the creation of myself. I think I got the message, you know, I'm about to go out. I'm not really sure what the fuck I'm about to do. Actually, I do know. I'm going to a house party. Remember, see, you have different bodies on this planet, but there's only one father. Y'all call it Ra. Y'all call it the sun. It's only one sperm. You have multiple eggs, people. You want me to tell you, uh, <laughs> want me to tell you where the species came from? Look at the colors of eggs. If I'm lying, I'm flying, people, and I'm driving. So I'm not. Google the different colors of natural eggs. If only you guys were farmers, you would know the secret. And this would give you your races. Because remember, all eggs are bodies. I'm done talking about egg talk. Are y'all enjoying your night? See, cause this is listen, this is this is why I'm coming to this. Because we're getting lost in this like this 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 side shit. You know? Um see I want you guys to understand I speak for divine feminine, I'm an advocate for divine feminine just because y'all shit it. <laughs> y'all don't listen. Okay, listen. You guys don't care about your body. None of you motherfuckers care about your body. We're starting to. But we sure enough cared about the spirit. Oh boy. Heaven. Oh Ark Thou. Fuck was we going stupid hard for the Father. Stupid hard for Astro Realm. Stupid hard for fucking heaven. Hard as fuck. We would go hard as fuck for heaven. But what about now? Like, what about your body now? Don't do that. That's a sin. Don't this and don't that. Uh, then how the fuck are you supposed to learn? How the fuck am I supposed to even learn anything if you're constantly telling me no? No. No. That's sin. It's wrong. Well, then how the fuck am I supposed to be right? God damn it. Damn. Help me. Help me understand. I don't get it. I'm, I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm smart. But you got me lost. Now you got me feeling stupid. I'm smart, and you got me feeling fucking stupid because I don't understand. I don't understand why I have to sacrifice my fucking body. Get it? Sacrifice your body for the Father, for heaven. No, 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 no. I'm not doing that. So when I tell y'all that I acknowledge the divine feminine, I'm just telling you I care about my body. That's it. That's all I'm saying. I care about it.
Now don't just forget about it. But it's all one. Remember, your body has two things. An egg and a sperm. You are fucking one. You are your father and your mother. No matter how much you want to argue it. No matter how much you want to tell yourself when you look in the mirror, you're female. How much you want to tell yourself when you look in the mirror, you're male. Motherfucker, you're both. Well, the fuck? And then I be seeing these stupid ass comments when people be like, oh, he's gay. How the fuck you know? You fuck me? Fuck you talking about? Just that comment is weird as fuck. A weird, I don't, how you gonna speak on what the fuck I'm doing? You can't tell me about me. You can only tell me about you. So once again, you're revealing the truth about yourself. Should be funny. But listen, there's no sexes. There's no sexes. How the fuck y'all gonna get lost? You are both. You are your father and your mother. Facts. That is currently what you are right now. Transitioning up. And eventually we'll go past this fucking sides. Pick a side. Father, mother. That's it. I mean, I could probably end this. You know, I don't want y'all to be like, I'm being weird just listening to fucking Candy Girl <laughs> on a Saturday. But this is what I'm doing. Oh. Oh, fake. Oh, fake ass Michael Jack. Oh, fake ass Jackson 5. That you fucked up. I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all don't see it. Y'all don't see it. So anyway, <clears throat> it seems like y'all be interactive now. Like y'all go just not have me on this motherfucker talking to myself all the time. See, that's the shit y'all be doing. And then y'all wonder how Q be fucking going crazy. Cause y'all be making me crazy. <laughs> y'all be making me crazy. Y'all just be listening. I don't know if this nigga crazy. I don't know if this nigga genius. I'ma just listen though. <clears throat> Hello, the divine feminine is the most important key to consciousness. The divine feminine house your consciousness. So it is the most important. If you do not honor that what is holding you in place, then how the fuck you gonna move forward? This shit is so deep. Gravity is the fucking divine feminine. <laughs> it is a gift of childbirth. That push. Lord, oh Lord. Let me just go back to my music. You know I lost my virginity to a girl named Candy? Damn. <laughs> y'all why Damn. Why I gotta do why I gotta bring that memory back? Member? Member? <laughs> yes, I remember, motherfucker. I remember. You wanna know what's even funnier? Her name was Diana. Her name was actually Diana Liz, but her name was Diana. She hated her name. So she chose the name Candy. According to my uh, spiritual uh, ancestors, I have two females fighting over me. Two females, one named Lilith, the other one named Diana. My boy, <laughs> my boy be like, dude, you be on one. I be like, nah, I be on like, I guess I'd be on one. Because everything comes from the one. I'm about to say some crazy ass super big number. It all comes from the one, though. I'm lost. See, y'all got me lost. Because y'all fought. Remember? No, I don't remember where the fuck I'm going. No. No. I don't remember. This is what GPS does to you. Remember this saying y'all look down so much? That the only time y'all go look up is when you lay down. I'm gonna say that again. That was kind of deep. When we look down so much, 
You often forget to look up. So the only time you're looking up is when you lay down. But what happens when you lay down? You go night, night, nigga! Excuse my language. So then you ain't even looking up then. Sad. 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 She was, nah, she wasn't sweet. She was mean as fuck. We used to have, we used to have sex. Her face used to be like this. I'd be like, damn, what is wrong with you? You know, I like, I slept with her later. Like, I don't know, I lost my virginity when I was like 16. So I think I went back when I was like 21 to see like if she changed. She still didn't change, still stale ass face. I was trying to see if it was me. <laughs> yeah, this is Dirty Diana. I mean, because, you know, Diana is often known as the succubus and, you know, the whore and all that good shit. You think it's Lilith. It's levels to the shit, bro. It's levels, levels, levels. It's low. And remember, you know, I'm not bugging. This is where you get Lil' Kim from. Lil', Lil Kim. Lil' Nana. Lil' Wayne. Lil, you know, they showed a little allegiance, but Lilith is controlling these energies. I don't want to talk about that. You know what? That's why I didn't bring my weed pen with me, because, you know, a lot of cops out right now. And Q don't need them issues. Q don't need none of them issues. You got that. You got that. Okay, um, I'm about to pull up. And uh, enjoy my Saturn day. Um, Till next time, you know.